madam. Now to a fancy dinner. So we just got to our fine dining establishment and we want to show you guys all of our outfits real quick. So here we go. We're ready for dinner on top of the trees in a tree house. You guys ready? Let's go up there and check it out. Let's go. Come on. All right, so we're going to be in a treetop restaurant today. How do you feel about that? I've never done it before. I've never done it either. And I'm excited to see what it's going to be like. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Hello. They saw our camera and immediately put a stop to it. They told us if we wanted to bring this big professional camera in, it would cost 600 I thought pesos, and I thought, okay, that's not that bad. But then he corrected me and mentioned it was dollars, $600. It would cost 600 bucks if we wanted to film, so I said forget that. We're gonna sneak it. this guys you can literally just lay right here and just look out into the distance it's a restaurant inside of the shoes right. okay. Cool, huh? Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm very sweaty and uh, I'm just a little upset that they wouldn't let us film here. I, I'm gonna speak to a manager and I'm gonna see. Maybe they'll let me, maybe they won't. Either way, it's gonna be on an iPhone or it's not gonna be at all. So a little update, I just spoke to the manager and it's not even up to him. Like there's bigger people than the manager and he said like there's cameras watching all around here. I don't see any, but he said basically this camera's just too big and when they see it come out, they're gonna have security come over and they're gonna like literally confiscate the camera. So he said I'm cool making iPhone videos. So uh, I'll see how long I can last doing an iPhone video, but it is what it is. It's literally open over here. It's just a net. That's this whole place. It's a tree house. So we're gonna walk on it. Oh, oh no, no shoes, no shoes. No shoes. Ah, no uh, okay, we gotta get out. We're just getting in trouble here all day. <laughs> okay, I'll stay. I'll stay. Wow, look at this. So it really feels like a treehouse experience. You got a pillow right here. Put it right here. You rest. You relax. And you look out at the sunset. This is what this place has to offer. My pants are gonna get dirty. So, I mean, it is pretty cool. Like the restaurant itself. Look, you're literally sitting on nets that lead to the floor. Like you can literally see the people down below. So if you're afraid of heights, this might not be the place for you, but it is definitely beautiful to see. At least it's a sight to see. Let's go see what the bar looks like. Thank you. Wow, look at this, beautiful. Okay, so we came into this back room now, and it's really cool. They have a live DJ here who's playing the music. It feels like you're in some kind of meditation retreat. It feels like, you know, you're very boohoo, very like freeing, boho, very boho. It feels very freeing. It feels very much like you're a part of the earth. And uh, I think that is cool about the restaurant. You know, I can't be mad at the rules forever, but it's very hot here. It's beautiful though, it really is. It's a sight to see. Wow, look, you can even walk a bridge over here. I do got interesting drinks, I'll tell you this. I don't know what this black stuff is, but uh, let's find out. Excuse my sweatiness, guys. It is humid as hell out here. My hair is just not cooperating, but let's find out what this black stuff is, shall we? It's like salt, a black salt. I've never, I've never heard of black salt before, but I would like to order it from my house after this. I got the same drink. Give this one a taste test. This is called the Paloma. 
I feel like there. <sighs> I feel like there's no alcohol in it, but it tastes good. That's kind of how I felt a lot of the time here in Tulum. When I go to like regular parts of Mexico, like Tijuana and I get a drink, it's like, that's all it is, is alcohol. But here in Tulum, I feel like it's a lot like LA and they kind of skimp you on the alcohol. You're paying a big price for it here. They're not giving you much alcohol. It's a good drink though. Look at this guys, they even put a dry fruit in here. Wow. I personally have never been to a bar or restaurant that literally have dry fruit on hand for their drinks, so. That's kind of cool. Let me take a bite of it. Uh -huh. Okay, dry food I'm for eating. They're just for decoration. So we're peeping the menu right now. There's not a lot of options on the menu. Something that's catching my eye is that truffle pasta right there. I don't, I don't know why. I just feel like I've had a lot of Mexican food this past week and I kind of want something that I know is gonna make me full and something that, you know, they don't have tacos on the menu. So why not get some pasta? Honestly, I'm so torn because they have like a roasted pig they have a tuna that sounds amazing. They got a duck, a duck lamb rack. I love duck. But the thing is, is I just don't know what it's gonna come out looking like. Like, am I gonna get the pig head on a on a dish? That would be interesting for a thumbnail. Though. It would, but it would, would it taste good? I don't know. I don't know. So I feel like I should just get the pasta. We can't both get the pasta. Oh, why you do this to me? I picked it first. No, you didn't. You did. You did it. <laughs> what are you thinking? Um. According to reviews, there should be a, some complimentary bread. Oh. But they haven't brought it out yet, so I'm like... Should we like ask? 30 days ago, too, so I feel like it's recent. Excuse me. We, we, we saw in the reviews that you guys do, like, complimentary some bread? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Some bread. Uh, yeah. yeah, and then, and then uh, when, we'll, we'll be ready to order as soon as you bring that. Thank you. Are you ready? Oh, it's when the bread gets here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Hey man, we, we gotta get everything free we can. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? We are here. Hey. Can I please do the gold shrimp? Nice choice. Um, it's like a medium portion, and it has uh, five shrimp. Five shrimp. Okay, five shrimp. that's a good amount. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. 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 Just making sure it's not one shrimp. <laughs> uh, can I do the beef tenderloin? Do you prefer medium, medium rare? Uh, mid rare? Yes. And then I'll do the, the pasta. Is that really good? Okay, I'll do the pasta. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Don't skimp on the truffle. Eh. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably be really good and have like the shavings. Yeah, I, don't know. I want extra. <laughs> you want to like try? Do I want to try? Yes. Is it, do you, you have a fresh one for me? Yes. Okay. Fine. All right. I mean. Oh, you want to like try? I'll, I'll try anything once. What is this thing? Uh, this is not the marijuana, right? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Thank you, sir. Wow. Do you guys let everyone try? Yes. Oh, wow. This, this is, is part of the restaurant. Oh, so this is part of the restaurant. I like that. Okay, cool. Do you mind? I held it. Yes, yeah. smoke. Your zero. Feel. Oh yeah, <laughs> I like this. Yeah. Wow. That's a big one. So sorry. <laughs> oh, he's the ball. Wow. Look at this. Beautiful, thank you. Wow, look at this. So here is what we got. I mean, it looks like garlic bread right here on the left, and then it looks like regular, like I don't know what kind of bread. And then we got some seven-day-old bread. I'm just playing. What is this? It's a uh, bit butter. Oh, cool. Cool. Oh, right. and, uh, which one goes with which? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, okay. Right. let's try it, guys. I want one of these ones. I know. Look at this, guys. Oh wow, so fluffy. Oh, <laughs> nice, nice. Hope you guys like uh, some beets butter with some contaminated table. table. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Wait, at least you got your next bread ready. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm trying here. I didn't know they froze things, okay? Man, put a fork in it. <laughs> Screw it. Maybe the butter is oh, just... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ah. Wait, tell us how it tastes. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, that butter okay. fire. Is the butter fire? All right, I got to try some of this. Oh. Look at this. <laughs> Guys, the butter is super slippery around here. <laughs> All right, put a little bit of this beet butter on here. Let's try it. I can't really taste the, the butter, I didn't more. So sitting down is cool, but there's so much to see in this restaurant, so uh, let's go on a little tour of it and let's go see what we see. Come on. Wow. You can come back. Okay, thank you. 
Wow, look at this. This is pretty cool. We're literally walking on a bridge that's literally like a full bridge. Like, look at this. This moves. Like, this is no joke. It's kind of sketch, huh? Parties going on up here. Literally in the forest or the woods or whatever you want to call this. Wow, it's bouncy. I'll tell you that. It's bouncy for sure. Whoa. Oh, it's Jake's bouncing it, damn it. I was wondering what was doing that. Hey, 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 hey. And then you're led into this other part, which is also a restaurant. Look at this. These ones have some really interesting bamboo chairs. And just like that, you're in another restaurant. This one's more of a chill vibe. I really like these tables. Look at that, you're like on the floor seating. Crisscross your legs. Wow, outside dining. Sorry. You can literally dine in a pool. That's pretty incredible. Wow, there's the ocean right there. Look at that. Look at this You step on the stones to get across and here you are. And what I really like about this restaurant is, do you smell that? Do you know what that smell is? It's Palo Santo. So they're cleansing the energy of the restaurant while people are eating. That's beautiful. We just got our food and the only thing that I can say after just looking at it is these are the smallest plates I've ever seen in my life. Uh, but maybe the flavor is great, I hope. I will say her shrimps are big. Her shrimps are big. The beef is a little small, but... I thought I was gonna get a whole lobster. What did you get? Oh, she's got a couple pieces, huh? Yeah. I didn't even really see that. Wow. Man, they jib ya. Me? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Tell me how it is. Good? That's good to know. Jake over here, let's see. Good flavors. Hi, proof. Yeah. Proof. Here, how's the lobster? Let us know, let us know. Really good. Okay, now it's me. Let's see. We have the truffle pasta. So you can see straight up off the bat, plate is significantly smaller than the meal, but here we go. This might be two nice spins. You got the truffles all up in there though, so here we go. You said, you know, this is it's the ambiance about this place. It's not the food, the food isn't bad, the drinks aren't bad, it's good, just not it's, great, but it's not great, it's good. That's that's that. Oh man, let's calm it down, okay? Let's calm it down. Oh my god, not a fan, to be honest. Let me try this beef. See, is that medium? That is, I guess you'd say it's that's close, medium. That's close. close I said mid-rare, so it's not mid-rare. Is that too big of a bite? Just know. eat it. Okay. <laughs> I'll say yours is better than mine, though. Oh, for sure. sure. Yours actually has flavor. Mine, I can taste the truffles, but that's about it. The pasta is just pasta, you know? Quick one minute in, and uh, Kira's already done with her fish. <laughs> <laughs> She's got two bites left. My girl's half done. She's got half left. <laughs> and from this trip, I've learned she's a slow ass eater. <laughs> but it is what it is. So let's finish up and then uh, we'll check back at the bill and we'll uh, hopefully not cry ourselves to sleep tonight, guys. I kid you not, it's been five minutes since we got our food and... We all finished our meals. Usually there's one person in a group who can't finish it because it's not enough, not us here. There was not enough food for us to not have enough. I'm gonna leave a TripAdvisor review and I don't really do that kind of stuff. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Funny thing is, it's not an anniversary. Mexican life hack. Always just say it's your anniversary. If they wanna give you something for free, they will. Yeah. Why not? And as you guys know, the portion sizes are so small here. Yeah. This is all they gave them. 
It's like two bites. <laughs> They don't even give us a spoon. <laughs> Eat them with your fingers. Happy anniversary, motherfuckers. Yeah. All right, guys, the bill is here. Let's see what we're working with. Let's I'm a little scared. Food. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Oh, Everyone. God, okay. So the total, whoa. Oh, fuck. I thought it was gonna be 366 <laughs> pesos, but it's really $6,666. dollars Dang, three hundred sixty-six dollars for four bites. So it's that's crazy. Bucks. Almost four hundred bucks. Okay, so we just got out of the place. Our final thoughts: experience it if you have the extra money to do so. But for me, it was not worth it. I'd rather eat fifteen peso tacos on the side of the road and experience something else. That's yeah. Like you can literally get so much more flavor and so much more for your buck. Literally, mostly anywhere of Tulum except for right here. You get cool ambiance though. Like you won't find this in the Tulum city. You won't find this in America. You won't yeah. find this anywhere. This so is like this is it's, it's here. It's cool to see, but you know what? Maybe just walk up in there and check it out. Grab a drink I don't think and then dip. Let you. Yeah, maybe just a drink and then dip. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, if you do come here, ask for the bread because those motherfuckers try to jip you when they won't give you the bread. Yeah. Anyways, that wraps up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, pick up your merch brand Taylor.com, and until next time, we'll see you guys later. Peace. Peace. My son is when I saw you walk through the door.